Many Americans just enjoyed their gigantic Thanksgiving dinners, which means tis the season for holiday weight gain panic. Hey guys, Anthony here for D News with Kristen Conger from Stuff Mom Never Told You. Hello, Anthony. And people are really afraid of holiday season weight gain. Yeah, that's right. With all of this turkey and pumpkin pie and stuffing being shoved in our faces from now until really the rest of the year, we are scared that we're going to gain, on average, five pounds. That's what people normally think we'll gain. Wow. But we have glad tidings of holiday science to share, don't we? That's right, Anthony. Give thanks because the Thanksgiving weight gain in actuality is not as bad as we think. Yeah, in a 2006 study from the University of Oklahoma tracked 94 students' body weight compositions before and after Thanksgiving and found an average weight gain of 1.1 pounds. Hey. That's not five, you guys. Yeah, that's like four less than five. That's not it. Wow. There was, however, a little bit of variation mm -hmm. with uh, guys putting on about 1.3 pounds. I don't like the way you pointed at me like that. Whereas the ladies put on just under a pound, but still not a huge jump on the scale, and you mm -hmm. look great, Anthony. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, similarly, a previous study of 195 adults found that they gained an average of 0.81 pounds from before Thanksgiving to after the New Year. Which means that the good news is that the actual weight gain, again, not as much as we think, but... There is some not-so-fun news, Anthony. Oh, uh, there had to be some not-so-fun news. <laughs> because another study found that our weight gain during holiday weeks yeah. is 500% more compared to our weight gain during non-holiday weeks. So that one pound yeah. is actually a lot. Okay, and that's because of pro-overeating factors uh, that researchers highlighted, like longer eating durations, mm. increased portion sizes, easier access to food, and eating with other people. Enablers. Exactly. All of them. Yeah, this is fascinating. In general, one study found that people tend to eat 44% larger meals when dining with other people compared to when eating alone. So here's an empirically supported holiday tip for not gaining weight. Spend Thanksgiving alone. Yeah. That's how I do it. But the New England Journal of Medicine also pointed out that the problem with holiday weight gain isn't so much that we're putting on a little bit of weight at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that the rest of the year we don't do anything to lose it. So when these clinicians tracked study participants throughout the year, mm -hmm. when springtime rolled around, they still had that holiday pound hanging out. So that's a pound a year. Yeah every year and it never okay yeah. that means the real danger of the minimal holiday weight gain is simply letting that just stay there and you know if you you live 70 years that's 70 pounds that's a 70 pound belly of turkey but listen mm -hmm. i'm gonna look at this positively anthony and i am gonna take this as support for my thanksgiving pumpkin pie for breakfast habit because you know what yeah i'm gonna run out of pie at some point and then i'll have the whole new year to exercise i I think you read the data and you've come to all of the wrong conclusions. Or all of the tastiest <laughs> conclusions? That could be it. That could be it as well. Uh, Kristen, you are sharing all kinds of wonderful information like this all the time yes. over on your channel. Tell yes. us about that. You should head over to youtube.com slash stuff mom never told you where, yes, I'm always sharing information about my pie eating habits mm -hmm. and fun things like that. It's basically all pie related. That's what we've gathered. <laughs> All pie related. It's not at all, but it is sometimes. Gotcha. And of course, you can subscribe here for more D News.